The Detroit Grand Prix gets rolling this weekend, and if you've seen Belle Isle lately, you know it's already made its mark. One of the biggest names in racing, Roger Penske, comes home to help host the racing world. The season is already off to a strong start for Team Penske, with driver Simon Paginot winning the Indy 500. And Devin and I asked Mr. Penske about the Detroit Grand Prix, his role in Detroit politics, and the future of automation. <laughs> Looking at the island, what we've been able to bring here is just amazing. It's absolutely pristine, better than I've ever seen it. So we're committed to the neighborhood, we're committed to here to this island to make it so people can come here and have fun. Underneath it all, there's always a conversation about maybe Roger Penske should be involved in Detroit in a more official way. Uh, you've been talked about before, even as a mayoral candidate. Has any of that ever uh, interested you, or is that just sort of uh, amusing that uh, you get talked about that way? I'm not sure where that comes from, believe me. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not looking to, to be a political candidate. We've got some great people, and the mayors I worked with, as you know, with Dave Bing, and certainly you know Mayor Archer and, and, and Doug, and these guys have done a great job and uh, look I want to be a support I want to be the people they can look out to in the private sector one of those people has been so many individuals in this city we can name them the Illiches you know Gilberts you think about uh, the foundations the Kresge and, and all of them that have done so much for the city and to think about back when we needed police cars and EMS units I made I made five or six phone calls we had 100 police cars and 23 EMS units that's the role I want to play to kind of be the I guess the disruptor and trying to bring the city back where it is today and I can tell you that uh, 18 years ago when Bill Ford and Archer called me to say would you run the Super Bowl I never thought that I'd be sitting in uh, Ch Jefferson Chalmers today talking about uh, <laughs> fixing up the Lenox Center so it's come a long way Uh, anything you want to say to the viewers who might be considering, uh, you know, coming down to Belle Isle? Well, uh, Belle Isle never looked better, number one. You know, we're going to have five races, uh, three on Saturday and two on Sunday, two IndyCar races. We're going to be uh, on television, thanks to NBC Network, which is, uh, congratulations, uh, you're our new partner down here, which is great. Penske Corporation, uh, your life is built around transit and transport, and I've never asked you, had the chance to ask you before about what your thought is about the future of mobility. The entire world is trying to figure this puzzle out. Uh, the, the, the city that put the world on wheels, it's critical that Detroit get it figured out. But what do you expect is happening in the world of mobility? How's it going to impact you? I think we're going to have an intersection here maybe two years, three years, five years from now where someone's going to be a winner here. But to me, the most important thing is safety. safety. Can you imagine us getting to electrification of, of the kinds of vehicles that you <laughs> that you deal with? Is that where we're headed eventually? Well, electrification obviously is another big subject. And, and to me, the battery costs today are really a deciding factor because it's, it's range, it's cost. And yeah. to me, the motor car companies are investing billions in this. If you look at cities in Europe, you look at the UK and places like this where they're mandating electric vehicles, that's going to push it faster. To me, this commitment by the auto companies is right on. Costs are going to be key. But at the end of the day, if I'm running one of these big companies, what's the commercial benefit going to be long term for the company? Because it's great to invest, sure. but if we can't get a profitability out of this, I think that's going to be the guiding factor. When is it viable for us to say, invest more, let's see the return? Smart, smart, smart guy. Such a keen business sense. He, he, yeah, he can talk about a number of subjects. We could have talked to him for hours, uh, but that just is a little snippet of uh, our conversation. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the Detroit Grand Prix drivers take to the track later this week, and we'll bring you inside one of racing's most exciting nights with our Grand Premier special Friday night from 7 to 8. For full Detroit Grand Prix coverage, head to clickondetroit.com, and, of course, we'll probably hear more from Roger Penske in that special. Absolutely will. Okay.